Welcome to Sectigo Certificate Manager, SCM, How to Video Series. This video will show how SCM administrators can add an administrator, as well as how to assign roles and privileges to those administrators. In this video we'll explore what different privileges and roles mean and provide a quick demonstration of how to add an administrator within SCM. SCM administrators can procure and manage certificates for the organizations and departments to which they are assigned. This video assumes you have already set up your organizations and departments in SCM. For more information on how to do so, check the Sectigo knowledge base for videos and documentations. Assigning roles to administrator. There are three main types of roles. The first is the MRAO, or Master Registration Authority Officer. This type of administrator has the following abilities. They can access all areas while also being able to manage all functionalities of SCM. They can also assign the new admin to a particular organization, RAO, or the department, known as DRAO. They have full visibility and control of all certificate types for all organizations and departments. We recommend that you assign more than one trusted individual to this role because only the MRAO role can reset passwords on an SCM user account. The second type of administrator is the RAO, or the Registration Authority Officer. They only have visibility and control within the organization or organizations assigned to them, including all associated departments. And finally, the DRAO, or the Department Registration Authority Officer. They only have visibility and control over certificates associated with the specific departments that have been assigned to them. You can assign administrators to more than one type of RAO or DRAO role. And if you want administrators to be both MRAO and RAO, you must create two separate accounts for them, with unique login credentials and email addresses. Assigning privileges to administrators. The first privileges allow an administrator to create, edit, and delete administrators who are at the same or at a lower role level. For example, an RAO admin can create, edit, or delete other RAO admins or any DRAO admins. The next two privileges are only available to MRAO, RAO, and DRAO admins. Allow DCV privilege is a rule that allows the admin to initiate the domain control validation process for newly created domains. The Allow SSL Details Changing rule allows the admin to change the details of SSL certificates listed on the Certificates tab in SCM. Now let's look at Allow SSL Auto Approval, which means different things depending on the admin type. For an MRAO this privilege means all requested certificates are automatically approved. For an RAO, or DRAO, it means all requested certificates are automatically sent up to the next level of administrator for review and approval. An MRAO must ultimately approve all certificates requested by an RAO or DRAO. Microsoft AD Discovery is an option you will only see when configuring MRAO admins. This option enables new administrators to access the MS Agent interface on the Settings tab in SCM, where they can manage the use of MS Agents on AD servers for discovery purposes. When it comes to domain approval delegation, it will only appear on the list when you are configuring RAO admins. This option allows an RAO to add, delegate, and manage new domains in SCM without approval from an MRAO. It can also approve requests from other RAO and DRAO admins. This allows domain validation to be done without the need for dual approval. The option to allow download keys from Key Vault allows the new administrator to download client certificate keys that are stored on Sectigo Key Vault. Note that the WSAPI use only account does not allow the SCM UI login. It is used strictly for third party API integration. To add an administrator account, navigate to the Settings page, Subpage Admins. Then, click the Add button, which is the green plus sign at the upper right corner of the screen. Once selected, SCM will prompt you to the Add New Client Admin a window. Here you can complete the fields based on the information requirements. Click Next once completed. Now let's assign the applicable roles to administrators. 
Next, select the required privileges for the administrator you just assigned. Once the roles and privileges have been signed, click on the Authentication tab. Once that is done, it is time to provide and confirm a temporary password, which the new administrator will be prompted to change the first time they log in. You have now completed adding an administrator account. If you require any additional information, please check our documentation page in SCM as well as all the various articles in our knowledge base section. Thank you.